or queen team fight. I mean, it's it's kind of a toss up who's going to win. It just depends on who plays better. But for right now, oh, F and J, goodbye. Oh, oh, Good I lord. Seal okay, if they catch strike. him here, it's huge. Well, let's see how huge it's going to be. There's the Basu's onto Artez. Light Strike Array as well. That is a dead troll. And maybe Asus, they look for more. Chasing down Goddamn now. Illidan with the Quill Spray spam. I believe, has he not got any points in the Nasal Goo? It certainly doesn't seem to feel like it. No, he doesn't. He's maxed out the passive and the W. And it's more than enough with the help of G. Three heroes down on Hellraisers. As you were saying, it will pay off the aggression if they're taking the fights. And that's one of the first most definitive fights that we've seen Asus take. That was very, very good calling by Asus. They're like, we haven't seen this troll in some time. There's a good chance he'll be going for Roshan. He got it to half health, and then three of his teammates died. Not a single person on HR has buyback. It could be a Roshan kill. Gorak, though, he wants to try to make something happen here. He really does. He wants to try and reclaim it for the side of Hellraiser. Massive ult from Afo Ninja, getting a double kill straight away. Goretz thinking about chasing down FNG. Deco Phobos is also going to charge away. So Hellraiser's... They lose two heroes, and we're back in a... Oh, sorry, no, how is this? They get two heroes from the side. They might even get more heroes. DK Phobos out of mana. Uh, Phone Ninja coming in as well. He's got the blink, he's got the dagger, and the scream should be enough. DK Phobos tries to get out some... Two immediate kills, and they want to try to stop all this. In the mid lane, Hex now onto the Lina. Artes will be able to take her off the map. Maybe they go for Illidan as well. He's got the backup of Goretz, the Omni Knight, and Afo Ninja. They want to try and dive this Storm Rage. He's out of mana. He isn't going to be able to get those stacks of Warpath out. They aren't able to get the stun from line. It's just out of range. Fortification comes out from Asus. It won't be enough to stop this tower from going down to the troll. RP is only going to catch out Goddamn on that line. Mystic Flare coming down onto the head of Artes, who gets very low. But Omni Knight now with the ultimate isn't going to protect him from the magical damage from the bash. Three heroes falling down on Aces. Artes going to work with the help of Goddamn. He's so goddamn low. There's just too much damage coming up. So they by the secret shot. We do see Goddamn and Artes in a little bit of a tricky position, but they will find the Sky of Mages. It looked like there was going to be a potential wrap round from the rest of Aces. And DK Phobos thinking about charging onto the line, but now he needs to be very careful as the entire team of Hellraisers close in onto the Spirit Breaker. They find the slow with the dagger, blink it from Goddamn, and now Artes, he gets to work there with the bashes. He can't find a bash to stop the Nether Strike, though. It doesn't matter, though, as it doesn't do too much damage at all to Goddamn. And now, well, G on the Magnus being thrown up into the air. Illidan Storm Rage. It looks like he's going to be the target as Artes positions himself in front so he can bash the bristle. Smoke up here. Ooh, they've got the RP available. Goretz does have a... He's got a few more seconds of double damage, but it doesn't matter. They're actually blinking. They only use the skew, and then he actually gets bashed the opposite way. There's a huge open map, and he's catching the Spirit Breaker. They're getting them very low. They throw the Laguna Blade down onto Queen of Pain. It gets Jules up, so Queen of Pain's going to be able to live through this. Two heroes, three heroes down on the side of Aces. And